Hey guys, I'm Brad Gage, the host of Drunk Driving, the show where I pick up drunk comedians from their favorite bar and give them a sober ride home. Tonight, I have my very good friend and my very drunk friend, Phil Wang, and he has had a lot. Wait, wait, wait. The most drinks. Funny things. I do funny things. Yes. I can do funny things. Like that? Yeah, like, like that. that. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Wow, you got a nice setup. Hello, uh, wait, hold on. I gotta address mm -hmm. the people that might be watching from like Wang Fu. Everything's safe, everything's good. I have not had a drink. People drink sometimes. Have you figured out how many drinks you took? You you had. I. Wait, are you are you, you were... kind of impressed? Are you kind of oh, impressed? I'm very impressed. You drank like. like I had a beer like, before you got a there. A beer. Too. And then I had like four tequilas on the rocks. Four tequilas on the rocks. Maybe five. And then I had one shot before we left. So. Yeah. Look, no Asian glow. I, <laughs> I, got, I got the enzyme, baby. There's an enzyme that Asian people don't, a lot of Asian people don't have, uh -huh. where if they don't have it, they can't process alcohol correctly, and so they get red flushed, whatever. I don't got that, so Do you look I could just sit here and be like, you wouldn't even know. Do you black out? I've only blacked out once. That's in your whole life? In my life. whole life. The blackout was in college, maybe taking a beer bong. Very simple beer bong? Simple. It's just a tube, tube I, and... I thought, I thought so. Someone put a little icing on the top. What? Icing? So beer bong, wait, really? I'm, am I gonna educate a white wait, guy on smear beer bong? Wait, smear, smear not? What do you mean Look, icing? Icing, what does that so mean? like you tap beer in, inside, the, <laughs> in, inside the beer bong. Of course. And then they put like vodka oh, okay. as icing. I, what do I you mean, guys call it? So I've heard of like Smirnoff icing. It's like when you like, you're like, we're at a party. It's like, you gotta, I surprised you with this. You gotta go on one knee and like, what the chug a Smirnoff and that's getting ice. Oh, like Smirnoff ice. You should be some sort of professional <laughs> drinker. No, 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 guys. I was, over, I was of age and I was among a safe environment. I mean, for a second here though, yes. right? Like you've drank illegally. Like when was your first drink? To be totally honest, okay? Uh -huh. When my friends started drinking in high school, I was mad. You were I that, got mad you were, at them. You were that guy. I got. I, <laughs> I was that guy. <laughs> I was like, guys, why are we? Why do we gotta do this? Why do we have to do this to have fun? I remember taking like my first shot, uh -huh. and you know why I took it? It's because peer pressure. No, well, not just peer pressure. Pretty girl pressure. Oh, girl, yeah. Pretty girl pressure. She's taking a shot. Peer pressure, guys. Peer pressure is real. When it happens to you, just make sure that you don't go too far. Yeah. Okay? Um, so, I love peer pressure. <laughs> I love getting peer pressured. So I I remember my, I remember my first shot. Yes. What was it? It was Smirnoff Green Apple. <laughs> Ooh, it's always flavored shit. Everyone's first shot is always something cause you, flavored. Because you're always afraid, you know? Yeah, because that's what kids drink. Um, anyone who's upset about underage drinking, we cannot send kids to war. And we cannot have people voting and say, oh, but you can't drink. I remember the first time I threw up. Okay. It was the summer back from my first year of college, so like I had to discover drinking. Uh-huh. Now you're you, back with your boys. You told me that you like drinking in the high school, so like it was not a big duty. Yes. I came back from college and I was like, oh my gosh, I know how to drink now. You were feeling super gross. Super gross. You were just in pain. Super gross. Yeah. I was like, I had to like fix something. Someone told me. You gotta do the finger down. The so you, you just shoved it down. It's a weird thing to it do. It is that. a weird And sometimes, thing. I don't know if this happened to you. I've been like, I gotta throw up, and then I just shove it down there. I'm like, I, it's not working. No, you, uh, every time you think it's not, not working, working, you gotta keep it there. <laughs> ah! And I've, I've like, coached, I've coached people through that. You gotta massage your oh. tongue. This might be too That's much so for, no, no, I hope one food people have already <laughs> left, okay? And then I came out the bathroom from it, and I was like, I feel great. Oh, you are. You, you're, you're like you're ready to rally. Exactly. How drunk do you feel? I I, I feel drunk enough that I am going to let Brad drive, but I'm also not going to say crazy shit. You're going to let me drive, like it's, I will. Like you are going to take the wheel. Brad, you're so drunk. You're going to go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, dude. Dude, can we do this another time when you're not driving? Yeah, and we just you know, with no cameras, we can we can just be regular no, friends. No camera. I don't look that bad, right? I don't look drunk. Actually, I probably <laughs> enjoy kids. <laughs> okay.